Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the Q&A of Alakashu. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the, enjoyed the film. Just a reminder that this uh, film is available for an audience award, so make sure you vote. Uh, we'd also like to thank our sponsor for this film, which is Point of Action, Mike and Deb Porter, and our major sponsors. And we also, um, we're so excited to have Maria Brendel here, um, the filmmaker of Alakashu, Take and Run. Where are you joining us today? Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm uh, in my kitchen at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, right now I'm in Germany. So um, normally I'm in Switzerland, but at the moment I'm in Germany and I'm sitting in the kitchen and I feel very sorry that I can't be with you. So it's a you special know. time, uh, but uh, I'm happy uh, there's the opportunity to show the film and to see you virtually. <laughs> I know. Yeah, and it's so exciting because normally we wouldn't be able to bring everyone out here to slow and so to be able to connect with our filmmakers that um, live in Europe and everything has just been so awesome. So yeah. yeah, it's really great. So first off, your film is just absolutely beautiful and what a stunning story and Thank something you. I personally didn't know anything about. I'm so curious, yeah, yeah how you got into this topic um, and what, yeah, drew you to it. Yeah, so um, I'm living in Switzerland, so um, it's uh, far away the theme. Um, I made a lot of research uh, to find out and uh, I've never been in Kyrgyzstan uh, before. And uh, a friend of mine were traveling through Kyrgyzstan and he came back and he showed me some pictures and told me about his experience. And then he told me about bright kidnapping and how often it happens in Kyrgyzstan. I really was shocked. So uh, I, I've never heard about it. And, and I really was shocked and kind of, uh, I felt ashamed because I didn't know uh, about, about this topic. And then I started to research and, and uh, meet some women and just um, know what, what is going on in this country. I, I didn't know anything about it. And I started uh, three years um time to write the script and find everything about the culture and the the topic to to write an authentic script yeah i really i really feel that you spent a lot you can tell that in the in the film that you spent a lot of time and were very intimate with the yeah. subject in the country how was it dealing with like the language barrier and like how did you <laughs> kind of um you know get into that and, and write the script is also as well yeah it was uh, very difficult uh, i i um wrote the script in german mm -hmm. and um in in this long long time of research i met many many kyrgyz women and they helped me and they told me about it and they helped me with the script and i i um was in Kyrgyzstan for research. I was in the women's culture. And um, the, the thing was, I had to write about something that's true, but I also had to, to know that I make a film and, and I have to um, make this film like a entertaining, film is entertaining, right? So there's yeah. some rules in making film, but it was, always a real story and I learned that the Kyrgyz language is mm -hmm. very different from German or American it's it's um it's it's a long uh, long sentence and something mm -hmm. like this and I wrote the script in German mm -hmm. and then the Kyrgyz women translated mm -hmm. and then I worked with the actors that it's like um natural and not like written or literal so yeah yeah to make sure that yeah it has that natural flow and everything like yeah. that and yeah. yeah so where did you find the main actress she's absolutely beautiful and she does she gives such an amazing performance um did she live there locally or yeah she's uh, from uh, the main city the capital city, 
And um, I found her, I made a casting when I was uh, first time in Kyrgyzstan. I had some time to make uh, research and casting and location. And uh, we had three days for this casting and we had 160 people. Oh my and God. she was the second person, the first woman um, which came into our casting room and uh, she just was awesome. And it was like, love of the first half. so um i really know i i just want her i had no backup i just want her. yeah it's so, hard when you see that person you know you've imagined yeah. the character for so long and there they are yeah yeah, yeah. And, and she was there um, very early so the mm -hmm. second person on the first day and the uh, she stayed for three days she was there with us to make the whole casting uh -huh. and then i had time from from this first time I was in Kyrgyzstan until we really can shoot was more than a half a year and I really was afraid um, yeah will be she in will be she in and she was and it, it was absolutely amazing she's she's awesome yeah yeah so what has been the ra uh, reaction from people that live in Kyrgyzstan to the film um, have they seen it have they felt like, you know, that they can relate to the story or, you know, yeah, I'm very curious. Yeah, I, um, I was afraid that I made some mistakes because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a local. So um, I really had a lot of respect. <laughs> so, but um, every Kyrgyz woman was like, okay, it's authentic. And I think it's because our crew had so many Kyrgyz people and especially Kyrgyz women and um, three of our actresses in the film were kidnapped also so they really know what they are talking about and um, yeah they they told me it's an authentic Kyrgyz film so I was really happy about this I think it's the biggest compliment I could get yeah <laughs> yeah so I'm curious are there resources now um, to help these women get a get away from these situations or um, like what's happening currently in the in the country because this is still occurring right the um, the brides being kidnapped but is there anywhere for them to go or you know seek help yeah the problem is um bride kidnapping is forbidden by law mm -hmm. but the tradition is stronger so um many women are trying to find some help by police but really tell them mm -hmm. um yeah what do you want it's our tradition. so mm -hmm. this is uh, uh, really a big problem but um there are also women they want to be kept because mm -hmm. for many women they they have no education no school no no job they need a husband yeah so um, some some women really want to to hold on this um, this this tradition, but not so many. <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, a big problem that is always uh, happening, and it's happening every day to many many girls. Yeah, and, and I'm curious, like, what is the root of the tradition? You know, to it, like. Because normally you see, you know, these arranged marriages, but you get to meet them and everything. But where did it come, the idea? Do you know a little bit about the history of why, you know, you just kind of get kidnapped, essentially, and you're in a new family? Yeah, um, there are different uh, versions about about um, where it comes from and history. Um, the Kyrgyz people is a no man folk, so so um, some say it's because of that. Mm -hmm. but, um, but many people say it's just uh, our tradition, and it's like a easy way for shy guys to get a girl. Mm -hmm. So we always have to see that it's a kind of um, daily daily business in right. this country it's it's not so special like um when we heard in america or europe this is oh like i i can't believe that this happens but in, in kyrgyzstan 
this happens very often. So yeah, it's kind of it it kind of happens. Yeah. Nobody knows why. But yeah. It's like that. <laughs> so. Yeah, and it's you know, tradition and you and like you said, there's some the women ex, you know, they expect it. Um, but yeah, it's I, I can imagine, especially if you don't, you know, you get a partner that, you know, is not kind or, you know, considerate and you're in a situation that could be really unhealthy. So, yeah, I, I yeah. yeah. And so um, what is some things that you kind of that you learn from making the movie that you're kind of now reflecting back on? you know, seeing it out there and everything. <laughs> yeah, so the most important experience was um, how I can come together with people and we don't speak the same language. And it was really mind blowing how, how it worked with these two very different cultures. So we were just six, seven, eight people from Switzerland and the rest of the world Kyrgyz. And, and this is really, these are two really different cultures. And um, it, it was so much love and friendship uh, on the set and everybody worked on the same topic. So everybody said it's important to show what's happening. And, and we came together and, and we didn't speak the same language, but, but it works anyhow so of course we had uh, translators on the set but not every second so sometimes Nick just said to me something like um i understand what you mean because i see it in your eyes and something like this was very touching for me so it was a good experience to see how how it is to direct uh, how it is to work with the actor when i actually don't understand the sentence like i would understand it in german or something was yeah uh, i it's it's the power of human connection it it kind yeah. of it goes beyond any any language um there's yeah. something unspoken you know when we are around each other you know that and we can share and then also you know the when you're working on a movie like there's just this bond that you just come together yeah. it it's unlike anything else i feel like i, I miss it, yeah, it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the magic of uh, people coming together yeah so, yeah yeah no like you know obviously you go through a lot you know and stressful and all those things but um you're just trying to create art and i think you can really you really see that in your film that you all work very hard and it just absolutely gorgeous i'm curious what are you are you working on anything new or um what your next plans are as a, a director yeah so um i really needed some time to to relax after this huge project because mm -hmm. um it was yeah it was a long 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 and an exciting journey and it was really not so easy <laughs> Um, but now I'm, I'm uh, writing again. I'm writing on a feature film. Um, yeah, it's, it's not in, in such a country, but uh, I try my best. So I, I go on by writing and, and making films. Yeah. That's so awesome. And do you think that you would, um, do you want to do another film in another country in another language again, now that you have the experience? Yes, I really love to work like this. Yeah, it yeah. was so special and, and it was, it gave me so much. It was so exciting. And, and as I said, an, another, uh, another kind of working with the actors and mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. So it will be great if I can work in, in other countries again. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see what you do. And thanks so much for joining us Thank you. all the way from Germany. It's so cool to have you here. And I hope everyone enjoys the film. It's just absolutely amazing. And, and I know that so many people are going to be exposed to, you know, this country and story. And I think that's so important. And so thank you. 
thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah.